H2O, we've got it. Everything is against us right now. I pull into camp yesterday, there's crows all over the field, all over the field. They're having a field day. They're eating corn like it's candy. They're standing water everywhere. All the things that you don't wanna see after you plant corn or beans are things that we're seeing right now. It's been a great spring to be a duck. It has not been a great spring to be a farmer. The disc rows from where we planted the corn are all sitting in water right now. And that is a terrible thing to see. Number one, the seed's gonna get drowned out if it's sitting in too much water. And for sure, our fertilizer is most likely gone. We're at such a crucial time right now because these spring food plots, beans and corn, they have to get a certain time of growth if they wanna produce the crop, if they wanna produce years of corn and bean pods. We are literally at a now or never situation for planting both, for sure for corn. But if we don't get these crops in the ground in the next five days, we're not gonna get anything out of them. So uh, we're in a pretty big predicament right now. It hasn't stopped raining since, I don't know, probably September of 2018. We have corn that we've been putting in, we talked about last week, and we've had two days, two and a half days of no rain. And we wanna put corn in about this whole acre. This is whole acre strip that separates our bean plot and our cover from the road. We want to put corn in this year because it provides a more sturdy screening for the winter. What was happening was our plot screen, our sorghum and Egyptian wheat, it was growing up so tall and it was awesome August, September, even, uh, even through October. But what was happening was we get snow so dang early up here. It was, you know, we get a foot of snow in November, beginning of November, and it knocks it all down. So the corn is gonna be a lot sturdier than that. Just don't know what to do yet. This whole lower section I don't think is plantable. It looks okay right here. It is so wet underneath, I'm sinking in. So the under layer just hasn't, hasn't dried out. I mean, it's wet down here. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Dang it. I don't know what to do. It's June 19th and this is 76 day corn. We're looking at the uh, end of August which is good, but if we wait any longer, it's not good. Dry for two and a half days now, we got 100% chance of rain coming in overnight and tomorrow, like a lot, they're saying an inch of rain, which we don't want too much after we plant, but my worry is that if we don't put some corn in right now and it rains a lot tonight and tomorrow, that's gonna push us another four or five days back, we might never get this corn in and we have the seed and we have the fertilizer, what do you do? What do you do? Decisions, decisions. He'll keep calling me. He'll keep calling me. He'll make me feel guilty. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna plant. I'm just gonna plant. I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna plant. And I did learn something. Obviously, it takes some experience using this corn planter. The plot behind our house that we did earlier, uh, or I'm sorry, at the end of last week, I think I had I had the three point pretty much all the way down on the uh, on the corn planter, and I think we might have just gone a little too deep with some seed. We'll see here in the next week if it comes up. But I was feathering it a little bit more on this little pass, and it seems like the seed's getting covered better and I can see it laying down about an inch, inch and a half down to the ground, which should be perfect. So live and learn, live and learn. This week on the Food Plot Chronicles, like I said, Mother Nature needs to give us a break on the rain so we can get to putting more, we can get to putting our soybeans in, we can get to putting the rest of our corn in. I made a decision, got, uh, got some of the corn in tonight. We got rain coming tomorrow. This is damp, but it should dry out. Um, as long as we don't get too much rain, so cross your fingers. Normally at this time we're doing a rain dance, but please pray for us, do a dry dance, pray for some sun. We need things to dry out so that we can get some food in the ground.